Okay. Y'all caught me. Somebody in the comment section said they asked me if I was okay. Because I'm taking so many orders. Y'all. Mm. Around this time every year, I get really depressed and sad. Because I want to be outside with my family. You know, doing family stuff. This is a family time, you know what I'm saying? So, that is the reason why I've been having sales and doing these orders and being up because I have severe depression right now. So, yeah. But, I don't want nobody feeling bad for me. Like, like I'm going to get better. This is just what it is. Everybody got stuff they go through, and this is mine. So, yeah. I hear that. But, at least I'm, like, making bricks instead of, like, you know. No more of that. Y'all help me with that. Y'all did that. So, I'm just happy about that. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all, I done made over, I want to say over 300 breaks in two days. And I got so much supplies, so there's still $15. Place your orders. Reach out to me on Facebook, whatever. Um, I am doing press, but there is a wait. If you order a press brick, you're not getting it this same week. You're probably going to get it by Monday. Tuesday. No, Monday. Because Friday's the holiday. So, Monday. But. Everything goes. Getting shipped out this week. I suggest the bricks right now only because they're only $15. Again, in Nebraska. Shipping went up to $12 at USPS for some reason. Well, the holidays, I guess. Anyway, y'all, y'all gonna see me, like, going from big to small, because when I get this type of depressed, I will not eat, and not only eat the marshmallows, but I always, I always go through, like, a little splurge when I just eat food, eat food, eat food, and then I get really fat. I don't know how to explain to y'all, but it's just crazy to me that y'all pointed that out. I thought I was hiding it really well. I don't know. It just made me sad. I'm not going to be able to go to my son's Christmas program. Stuff like that. Well, I can, but, like, my mom, like, I don't know. Agoraphobia is really the worst thing to have. That's why I don't get this. Y'all know how some people, some people always wish they was, like, somebody or could be, like, somebody or could have somebody's lifestyle. Like, people actually hate me because of my lifestyle. But what y'all don't get is... Money is not happiness. Like, I'm agoraphobic. Come on now. Who wants to? I'd rather be homeless than broke than do what I do with now. So, I really don't get when other people beef with me or want to be me or stalk me because they want to be like me or just say weird stuff or say, they want my life like weird stuff like that i can take compliments but not when it's like hateful out of nowhere because you you think i'm doing well i am but not mentally i am stuck i see the same four walls every day like this is not a joke this is not a game say hi back up babe that's my baby do you got clothes on No. <laughs> anyway. Baby. I was telling them how people be acting like they want to be me or try to be me. But it's really no point when I'm stuck in the house. Yeah, but you're stuck in the house and you still make boss moves. Babe, that is beside the point. <laughs> I'm saying people want to be you regardless. Like, that's, that's the dope part about you, though. You don't even leave and you still boss. Bye. Thank you. No, 
But y'all, that's besides the point. Hey, but we leave it though. Period. I hope so. That's beside the point. Y'all. I just I'm just saying, be you and be glad with the life you got. There are so many famous people that are really going through health things where they won't live to be this age or you know, anything. Just because a, a person has money don't mean you should want to be like them. Don't mean you should wish for their lifestyle. Wish for your own lifestyle. If you're healthy and good, strive for greatness. Because it is so hard dealing with agoraphobia every day. Waking up, seeing the same things every day. Same four walls every day. Looking outside the window gives me anxiety sometimes. All these eclipses I say that right, has passed and moons and cool stuff has happened. And I can't even really be a part of it because I can't go look because I will literally faint. Like, it is serious. It is so serious. And I wish I could make y'all understand. But I, you can't because unless you have agoraphobia. And if there's anybody out there with agoraphobia or that you know is agoraphobic, please lead them to this video because I am having a hard time. If y'all want to help me right now, that's what y'all would do. But only if you know that person. I'm, don't go out your way to find people. You know what I'm saying? Moral of the story is, what's for you will always be for you. Okay? Don't wish on nobody's downfall. Don't wish to be nobody. You are you at the end of the day. And you control your life. Mm. Okay, Miss Crunchy. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. Oh yeah. Hmm. But yeah, y'all. But I am having fun. And I'm glad my mind is other places. Oh god, I'm making breaks instead of, you know. I had this bad, like y'all, it's 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 real bad. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't even know me for real. Y'all do, but y'all don't. And I can't wait one day. I'm gonna open up fully to y'all because I love y'all. I fucks with y'all the long way. If you got a marshmallow right now, cheers. Come on. And I swear to God, you better pick it up. I don't care if we're not in person. I see you, bro. You see me. Pick it up. And we're about to cheers. One, two, three. Mm hmm. Mm. How it tastes. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's my second break today. Hmm. How is it out there, though? Outside. How don't y'all be scared? Like, y'all don't think about, like, the bad that can happen. Like, when I think of outside, I instantly think of the ways that I could really hurt myself or end up in a hospital or, you know, dead. That's what I think about. That's why I don't go out there. I instantly think about, okay, if I drive, I'm going to faint. And then that's my life right there. Boop, done. Okay. Number two. Okay, why, look at all this stuff in my finger. There's residue from the press, y'all. I clean my fingers, okay? And it gets under the gloves and stuff. It's so... Uh, anyway, number two. Okay. Somebody can take me. I won't have to drive. So if I do freak out... Are we freaking out with them? No, because then I'm going to do something crazy, like grab the wheel or try to jump out and roll in it. Boom, my life. Done. Okay. Or three, bring my person. She's my person. Bring my person, get an Uber, and I should be okay. No. The Uber driver is going to look at me like I'm crazy because I'm freaking out. I'm going to freak out even more because I'm being judged right now. But some of that doesn't even know what I got going on. And I'm going to jump out the car. Boom. My life. Bow. Boom. My base life. Bow. Because she better not just let me jump out the car. She better come with me. You know? So, yeah. How is it, though? Like, how don't y'all think of all the bad scenarios? Like, I look at the sky and get totally afraid. Like, what is up there? What is that? Is space real? Is the ocean <sighs> Oh, 
eye twitching. I'm freaking out a little bit. But I don't... Like, are we a, a circle? Like, what if gravity just stops? I don't know. We're gone. We're going to be falling. Y'all, we will be falling in the middle of space at thousands of miles per hour. Billions, trillions. And are we even going to hit anything? Because what is space? Is space... A space a thing like i don't know if i'm more scared of space or the ocean w what are y'all more scared of are y'all even scared see are y'all even scared or this is just a me thing like i just i just don't understand i am scared of what i can't understand okay and i'm also scared to find out because i'm scared of the truth of existence like how did we get here who was the first people here I know all those books, but what really happened? Nobody can tell me that. So I can't believe anything, okay? I can't walk by faith with that. I can't take somebody's word for it, a book's word for it. I, I can't. It does not settle with me. I want to know exactly what happened, and that's my problem. Like, the Big Bang, are you serious? So we just, <laughs> humans, what? How far back is, is life going? Like, y'all y'all don't understand what goes on in my head. And this is on a daily. This is not just a topic thing. No, I don't just... All right, this is literally what I think about and what I'm scared of. Like, what happens after that? And y'all know another thing? I'm so sad and scared and mad at myself because I love my babies with everything in me. But I'm so mad that I brought them to live to die. You know, like, I just pray I go before them. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, it hurts my feelings knowing one day. You know, one day. It's never again. I don't know, y'all. I feel like that scares me. I'm going to live a long, healthy life. My kids are going to live a long, healthy life. I just hope, I just hope before I got really interrupted that I can get over this anxiety, agoraphobia, especially the agoraphobia and the panic attacks. I don't know what's worse, the agoraphobia, anxiety, or panic attacks. I would have to say the, the attacks hit me so hard, y'all. I get so dizzy. And it, it really feels like something's wrong. It feels like my heart is literally about to fall out. Like I'm about to just, uh, you know. Well, y'all, I got to get back to work. I low-key got all my orders done. I'm just keep keeping it. Keep. I just keep going. See? I just keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, y'all, they are fifteen dollars, and they are two pounds. Um, like oh, I need to stop. It's so good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you heard it. I eat. You want to eat? Okay. Mhm. Mm Mm. Yeah. Okay, one more time. That wasn't big enough, you said? Okay. I got you. 